everybody, I'm April Justine with Designer Exotics and today I'm going to go over how to handle a defensive, feisty, however you want to describe it, short tail python. <laughs> how this is going to go. I checked on her and she's still in shed. But what better time to show you how a feisty blood, this is a blood python, how she is uh, in shed. So wish me luck, fingers crossed. Uh, first thing I do is check where she's at. So I'm gonna um, edit this a little bit just for camera angles, but I'm gonna check where she's at. All right, so she's in the back and as you can see, she already has her eye on me. I don't know if you can see her breathing at all. Yeah, I know, hi. Okay, so her breathing isn't too bad right now. When she's really upset, her breathing will be very short and uh, very exaggerated, so you'll really be able to see it. So uh, now I'm going to move her onto a flat surface, because right now, if I stick my hand in there, she is gonna get me. So I wanna come at her from behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and change up my camera angle, pull her all the way out so I can get behind her. Make sure you keep your head out of striking distance. I don't have a table, so there's that. All right, you can already hear her. Uh, what I'm gonna do for cleaning purposes is move her into here. I'm going to move her with her head facing inward so when I pull this tub out again, I'm gonna be able to, uh, to grab her fairly easily, in theory. I don't want this to topple over when I take her out, so let me get this. So what I'm going to do is put my hand here. I'm going to try to use one hand because i got to balance this out. So then I turn her. There you go. So that's how you move her. Now I'm gonna clean this, let her chill out for a little bit, and then move her back. All right, so I cleaned this out, sprayed it down since she is in shed, and now it's time to grab her again. This will be the fun part because she already knows something is up. <laughs> she, she knows she's been disturbed, I, I can't catch her off guard, so let's see how it goes. Ooh, she changed directions on me. All right, so same thing, I'm gonna scoop her up from behind. All right, because she's switching angles on me, this is when I get a hook out just to redirect her a little bit. If I can. You're a smart one. Yes, you are. All right, so now she like super knows what's up. So I use the hook so I can get my hand under her. I go very slowly. All right, now she's super not happy with me. So make sure your head is out of the way when you go to grab. Make sure you don't hover over her when you go to grab. So you notice I'm gonna put my hand here. I'm way back here. And then try to just get her up and in. All right, so that's blood python number one. She is one of my worst snakes that I have. She will always fight me. She will always strike at me. When I put the water bowl in, if I'm just doing a water change, she strikes at that. I jump back five feet because even though I'm used to them, it still takes me by surprise. Um, but I'm actually very surprised that she didn't strike at me at, at all, um, which is great for the video. Thanks, girl. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the next one is a Borneo short tail, and he is awful. <laughs> um, he will bubble at the mouth. So if you ever have a blood python or short tail that gets super, super worked up, they might bubble at the mouth. Don't be too alarmed. It's not an RI. They're just working themselves up so much that they end up like drooling and getting the bubble thing. So don't freak out. It's probably not an RI. Just keep an eye on them. Uh, anyway, this is Sylvester. He is a blonde stripe maybe super stripe. I'm really bad with my stripes, I don't know. Um, but I believe was produced by Nick at Cold Blooded Earth, so I will set up my angle the same way, kind of, and uh, talk you through how I get him out. He's a little bit different. 
he's bigger, he's more fierce. <laughs> uh, so you'll see how I, I interact with him a little bit differently. So this has a clear front to it so I can see where he is. His head's right in the front here. Always be aware of where your snake is. You can't even see him that well. Let me adjust this. All right, there you go. So you can see he has destroyed his paper. It's not even ex in existence anymore. Uh, but you can already see that he is ready to go. Um, with him, and because his tub is so big, if he's facing me, I actually take the tub all the way out and put it on the floor. So I'm going to readjust my camera angle so I can do that for you guys. Um, and uh, then you'll see how I take care of him. I know, you're an asshole. Oop, okay, get that out of the way. Alright, Bubba. I know, you're so evil. Alright, so he goes down. You see him? Okay. And I do the same thing with him. I go from behind, and then I put him on the floor out of the way because he will try to, you know, bite me and strike at me. So same thing, you come from behind. You can see he's already bubbling, actually. And then grab him. So you see he's super upset and his posture's really bad. You keep their face away. If they start turning towards you, you can move in either direction and they tend to move their head that way. So that's a, a little trick if you're in a bind and they start turning on you. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the floor and then clean up his house. Alright, so I cleaned out the, his cage and now I have to grab him. So it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to go behind him. Right now he's facing me, so I'm going to go behind the camera. And the same thing. He knows what's up now, so you just really got to be uh, cognizant of where they are and what they're doing. And my bearded dragon actually distracted the crap out of him, so maybe it'll be easier? I don't know. So notice I'm supporting his whole body. He goes right in there. And now i got to get it back up. We'll see how that goes. I'll come behind him again. Mostly because I don't want him thinking I'm hovering over him. Move some things, make some room for myself. Alright, so now I'm just going to lift him up and put him back into his uh, rack. Alright, here he is. He wiggled himself into the back. Still pretty unhappy with me. Got to move fast before he comes back out. And that's that. So that is how I handle my very defensive, aggressive, strikey, whatever you want to call it, uh, short tails, and that was a sub-adult. The first one was a sub-adult uh, blood python. The second one was an adult male. Um, and now I'm going to get a tiny little baby for you and show you how I do that as well. Alright guys, as you can see, she absolutely destroyed her house. That's fun. Um, she normally strikes and bites at me. I don't know if you can see, but notice her breathing. See how it's very rapid? She's nervous. And uh, they're not necessarily defensive, but they might just be scared. God, you did a number. How? I just checked on you. This is disgusting. Okay. Um, I do the same thing. Scoop him from behind. And then lift him up a little bit. And there you go. So that's her in all her glory. Um, she will probably strike at me. I put her... I don't know where to put her. But I'll put her down somewhere, clean out her little tub, and put her back. So let me, uh, I'll just put her right here, I guess. Oop. All right, so I'm ready to grab her again. By me putting this here, she's probably going to get a little bit nervous because it's something big next to her. So we'll see how this goes. She's already moving a little bit. Same thing. You want to just go underneath them, lift them up a little bit. Ooh, she's turning at me. She's probably going to be the one that strikes out of all of them. And I'm, I'm watching her head and her posture and everything uh, immensely. She's even doing the slow tongue flick. So uh, she's ready. <laughs> but uh, that's how I take care of her. She is also a striker. 
Um, doesn't like being handled. As you can see, she seems to be oh, still nervous, still twitching with her breathing. And just keeping an eye out on everything. I'm sure the bright light doesn't help either. Um, but there you have it for a small one. All right, guys, so that's it. Pretty easy, right? I know it is much easier to watch someone who's been doing it for a long time when you are just starting out. But remember these key things. Number one, always make sure that you check where your animal's head is before you open their tub or cage or hide, whatever it might be. Number two, check for their breathing. If they're contracting in and out very quickly, that means they know what you're up to, they know where you are, they're not happy about it, they're pretty scared, and they're probably gonna try to bite out of defense. Um, it's not a food thing, it's they're scared. So just know that you're a big, huge human probably coming over them like this. It's a scary thing for them. Uh, secondly, you want to, or third, I'm on third. <laughs> you want to scoop under them with their head facing away from you. That is key. These are heavy bodied pythons that like to stay on the floor. So even just the mere keeping them in the air and moving them can make them nervous. So you want to make sure that you do, I call it the baby cradle because you're, you're holding them and supporting their body like this, but obviously it'll be a little bit far away from you. As you saw, I kind of did it like one hand forward, oh, huge hand, <laughs> one hand forward, one hand back, um, and making sure, like I said, their head is facing away from you. Another thing I mentioned that can be number four is if they start turning towards you, then what you need to do is kind of turn your body with them because then most of the time they keep their head set so if you're turning this way, their head is going to end up going the opposite way of you. Uh, so if they're coming towards you, you turn, you turn with their head. And if they go the other way, you want to turn this way because then they might look somewhere else. Right? So they're always, they're, they're always looking around, always observing. So if you're doing that back and forth kind of thing, then they're maybe not paying attention to you so much and they're paying attention to the movement that's occurring uh, around them. So that's another thing. Uh, like I said, don't hover over them. Um, when you have to grab them a second time, they know what's up, so be very careful. And always, 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 always pay attention to where their head's at and their posture. That will save you a lot of potential bites. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if it was, please let me know in the comments because uh, knowing that I helped you guys actually really kind of fuels me to do more of this. Uh, and if you have any other topics that you want me to go over, please feel free to let me know. Uh, as I said before, I am April Justine with Designer Exotics, and I hope this finds you well. Enjoy your keeping.